and uh, he had all these downcomers on it. And I said, well, that's just, couldn't be the dumbest idea in the world because you have big, big downcomers and they're not doing any good and there's no heat exchange. And so I designed a boiler that uh, saved a, a lot of material by having all upcomers and no downcomers. <laughs> and uh, I was, I started to, after I burned a large hole in it about this big around in one of the tubes, and the tube was not that big around to start with, I uh, started to write, write an article on all the mistakes I had made. And after about three and a half pages, I quit writing, and that was only because my fingers were tired and I had not run out of a list of mistakes I had made. So uh, later on, you can take a this is This is Jim's uh, Lamont uh, circulating pump, uh, Lamont uh, separating, steam water separating thing. Uh, and this is what you want to talk to Jim about because that is a very good design, and it works, and it's, uh, it's excellent. You said a manually operated Lamont? No, it's, I can't. Uh, this little uh, this little doohickey here comes off of a uh, Pitman off of the uh, gotcha. off of the off the engine. Looks like a but, handle. But the, well, it looks like a handle now because there's a little <laughs> hole in it that I, you can't see because I put my fingers over. <laughs> because this is that Bessler uh, that Bessler uh, a light engine off the uh, Blue Goose. Uh, and I think it's uh, somewhere. It's almost the same dimensions as uh, Bell and Bauer. Uh, this is a Dayland Dayland engine, uh, and as soon as somebody gets around to going up to uh, British Columbia, they ought to find the uh, find the patterns, hint hint, and uh, do something with them. It's a decent engine, except uh, that I have never met anybody yet. Does this have the donut valve? I really don't know the fellow I bought it from. Didn't know either. He was handling an estate for just the Bell and Bauer engine. Find out. Okay. Take you a car over here, there. and you just look in there. Yeah. Okay. okay next. But the day land. Um, oh, that's Harry's uh, uh, Hui engine, and that thing uh, uh, runs 15% uh, cut off. Uh, mm -hmm. I can go on for hours. 35%. 35% cut off. I can go on for hours because it's a lot easier to explain something you don't understand. <laughs> keep, keep going. Uh, we, we ran that the last two years in September. This is This engine, the, 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 the best thing that you could say about this engine was it was cheap. An important consideration. Uh, this fellow George Sharp, who, who I know nothing about and almost nothing, in the next one. Uh, well, that's a locomobile. That's a, that's a very good shaped locomobile engine, and I would show it to everybody if I had a hammer to knock those tuba ports out of the way. Uh, this is a this is a, a clever example of a bad design. Um, this is, everybody uh, asked me, how can I convert a Briggs and Stratton engine to steam? And the next time somebody asks you that, you should just say, why? <laughs> anyhow, this is one of the most clever ways to do it I've ever seen, and this was done by Roger McGuire. You look at the head, and he, he this is aluminum, and he built up a little dam in there, so he isolated one of the valves. He built the dam on the head, right? He built the dam on the head, which was over here somewhere. Down at the bottom, actually. Oh, the there, there, oh that's the side of the Yeah. Oh, I quite had the wrong thing. Why do I feel dumb? <laughs> <Did anybody? laughs> I, I, had to, I had to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't go down dark alleys, Carl. <laughs> the, uh, it's down here somewhere. You can see how clever it was because he, he only had to change, well, he had to change the cam, but change the cam timing. And he went to a belt drive and he explained to me in great detail why, or excuse me, chain drive, why the chain was loose. And you can discuss that later. But anyhow, uh, it actually runs pretty good. And if you've just got to have one. And this is the Corvair cylinders that George Sharp, out of his old beach, who never talked to anybody, uh, made. And he made it all out of cast aluminum, which is why I don't think it will last very long. But what is interesting is we, we can uh, copy uh, those pop 
poppet valves. At least it's got poppet valves all over the place. And it's a fairly, uh, you know, you can copy it in something besides aluminum. It might actually last. Oh, that's it. Uh, oh, there should be one more. That's odd. Mm -hmm. I know there's one more. <laughs> there. Yeah. Nope. Something else in the box. That's another George Sharp. That's a little uh, uh, three-cylinder radial uh, with slide valves, just uh, eccentrics and slide valves. Hmm. Uh, George Sharp uh, purportedly uh, figured out, he never wrote anything down, he never talked to anybody, and he never explained anything, but purportedly he figured out how to save the heat so when you're driving your car down the road and you come to the proverbial stop sign, you you save the heat and you don't, you know, have all the problems that normal people have when they do that. Of course, we have no idea how he did it. Uh, I will point out that Peter Plotel had been planning to come to this meet from Sweden, and he had several three or four patents on that saving the, the heat with a little. Uh, very thin, very closely spaced ceramic plates. And so your heat goes this away and then it goes that away. And he, he does a, an excellent job, or his patent attorneys did, because he's got complete patent coverage on how to save uh, heat without disclosing any, any possible way of actually doing it. <laughs> well, the crankshaft pattern. The question. Yeah. Who's crank? No, there's a on the, yeah, yeah, the there's stage out there's a pattern for crankshaft. Oh, that's mine. No wonder. No wonder I didn't recognize it. <laughs> um, that is the uh, uh, pattern for the the. Uh, it was made in 1958 for the Kaiser uh, Bessler, 1953 Kaiser Bessler uh, Manhattan. Um, I was called out right in the middle of a, of a talk this afternoon because David Mott and his wife uh, stopped by and they didn't want to come inside. They wanted to stand outside and talk in spite of the fact that I was uh, wetting my pants for trying to get back in here to listen to something. Uh, but David Mott had, was had worked with Bessler from my 1951 to 1963. Wow. Uh, he may come back tomorrow. And uh, he, I, I interviewed him for a whole afternoon uh, a half a year ago. Thought I had everything straight. Took copious notes. Wrote an article. And he, and he spent most of his time telling me I hadn't got the facts quite right. <laughs> and I pointed out after a while. Uh, what little diplomatic skills I had dis disintegrated. <laughs> and I pointed out that if anybody was going to complain about somebody else not getting the story right, they could have written it up themselves in the first place. <laughs> um, but he, uh, but that is that is a, 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 an excellent, you notice it's a 180 degree, it's a flat crank. And the reason is because the, the Kaiser engine uh, was a 90 degree uh, B4, Cross compound, uniflow, single acting, and the only valve in the whole thing was a, a piston valve that went across the two high pressure cylinders, and it went this way across the uh, with an eccentric drive, no less, that came off here and went through a, a rock a bell crank, bell rocker crank. arm, something bell crank. Bell crank. You say enough of them, you're going to get one of them right. That's all I <laughs> Anyhow, it's very fascinating how, and there's absolutely no no valves, no moving valves on the low pressure side. And it's a very compact engine, and uh, there's two stories as to where that engine came from and why, and why Kaiser had the car and the whole thing, and I apparently I didn't get any one of them right. <laughs> but Mr. Mock, if he's here tomorrow, will be able to explain all that to you. Uh, Berkeley, uh, Berkeley engineer graduate, uh, very sharp guy. Okay, thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate that. Sure.